Hi lovely wine drinkers, I hope you're all well. Welcome to Thirsty Thursday. This week we're in the fever tree department of the warehouse and we're stepping it up a little bit. I'm going to tell you about two wines, both made from an Albarino grape. The reason being is I'm going to visit my friend Mad Jo this weekend and she's going to cook a lamb tagine, which Albarino is going to be perfect with, but I just can't decide which one to take. I've picked these two lovely wines from the people at the Mard in Vero in Rias Baxas in Spain. It's quite a young vineyard. It's only been around since 2007 and they come in these very elegant bottles. So Albarino is a lovely white grape, mainly grown in a coolish climate up in Galicia in northwestern Spain. It's quite aromatic and it can be made into two slightly different styles of wine, which is the case for these two bottles. Uh, also goes really well with like Thai food and Indian takeaway or something, something with a little bit of spice. So this one, the Troupe, um, is the lighter style of the Albarino. It's brimming with peaches, nectarines, mangoes, has hints of pear in there, passion fruit. It's fresh, lively and perfectly balanced with good acidity. It's one of my favourite wines of all time, I have to say. The Mar de Inferro itself is the next wine up from the Troupe. And whilst the Troupe is bottled really, really young, this one has been aged on the lees in stainless steel tanks for a little while, giving it a little bit more depth of flavour and a little more structure, but the same sort of flavours with the stone fruits and the citrus. Very, very nice. So I'm not sure if you know about the lees, but aging on the lees, that's what they call it, is to do with the fermentation process of the wine, where the yeast turns the sugar to alcohol. And once this process has taken place, the dead yeast cells flute to the top of the barrel and they form this crust on top of the wine. And having the crust on t in contact with the wine for a period of time adds more flavour, more structure, sometimes a sort of a creamy, buttery flavour to the wine. It's actually very nice. So because I can't decide, you'll be getting 10% off both wines this week. Yay! So the Troupe would normally be £14.99, so it's going to be £13.50. Um, and the Mardu and Vera itself would be the bargain price of £15.30, normally £16.99. Um, luckily, I have all afternoon, but you don't have to decide though. You could just buy both and make your own decision. So like and subscribe if you like what you see. Happy drinking team and have a lovely week. Take care. Bye.